Hi guys, welcome all of you. So in this session, we will see how we can use the extended choice parameter in the Jenkins pipeline script. So if you want to make use of extended choice parameter in Jenkins, you need to install the extended choice plugin first. Okay. So for that purpose, go to manage Jenkins, click on plugins. So click on available plugins. So let's search extended choice. Okay, this is the first option. So select the checkbox and click on install. So once installation is done, we need to restart the Jenkins. So you can select this checkbox. So plugin is successfully installed and it is enabled. Okay, so we can make use of extended choice parameter now. So let's go to the dashboard. Let's click on new item. So give some name to your project pipeline with extended choice parameter. Okay, ECP click on pipeline click on ok okay so here you will get the option this project is parameterized if you click on that you will get different options available for the Jenkins parameter so as we have installed our extended choice parameter plugin this option is available okay so we are directly going to use our ex uh, extended choice parameter in the pipeline script so let's click on that so pipeline will start with the pipeline keyword pipeline curly bracket inside this bracket first is agent any then parameters so our parameter is extended choice give to round bracket here inside this bracket we need to provide different attributes required for this extended choice parameter so first is name i will give some name to my parameter let's say test cases so for extended choice parameter we will get different types that means radio button checkbox drop down single select multi select this kind of options okay in the types so for now i will define it as pt underscore single underscore select okay so i will get the drop down in that user can only select one option at a time okay after each attribute you need to provide the comma and value for this attribute you need to provide in the single quote so all the values you need to provide inside the single quote separated by the comma so let's say first this is my test cases parameters i will give test one okay next attribute is default value so among these six test cases i want like few test cases should be by default selected let's say test two and test three should be by default selected next one is description whatever description you require for this parameter please select tests you want to run in the automation like that so next one is visible item count so out of all the values for this parameter how many values or how many options should be visible for the user in that drop down okay so out of six let's say only three options should be visible at a time for this user okay so you will understand once we uh, run this pipeline so let's keep it as a three and this is an integer so don't give the single code so next one is multi select delimiter that means how your values for this parameter are separated so we have separated our values by comma right so that you need to provide in the single quote here so next attribute is quote value so do you want uh, when you use the value for this parameter in your pipeline script do you want the double quote for the uh, for those values okay like that so as of now i will provide the false here okay so you will understand better when we run this pipeline so these are the few attributes and how you can give the values for the extended choice in the pipeline script. So let's uh, print the value for this extended choice parameter in the uh, pipeline stages. So once parameter section is completed, you can define the stages here. Test will run are whatever user will select for this test one to test six so we want those values so how we can get the values for that parameter give the dollar give the curly bracket and inside the curly bracket you need to provide the parameter name whose value you want so this is our parameter name test cases so inside the curly bracket just provide the params object first okay so using params object you can access the parameter value inside the pipeline script so params dot your parameter name so this will simply print the whatever value user will select for this test case parameter in the pipeline script. So click on apply and save. 
so for the first time you need to build this pipeline first and then you will get the exchange choice parameter so let's check the logs okay so that have printed test 2 and test 3 okay so this test 2 and test 3 we have uh, given in the by default selected option right so let's click on the project name again so here now we got the build with parameter so if you click on that you got the drop down and we got six values in this drop down so now let's see if you customization you can do with this ecp so if i want to select the or if i want to make this multi select so how we can do that again go to the pipeline script so for this type instead of single this time i will give multi option multi select okay click on apply and save again build so for the next time you will get the changes with that pipeline so this is completed let's click on build with parameter so now this drop down converted into the multi select drop down now so by pressing control you can select the multiple values and why only three values are uh, visible because we have provided the three in the visible item count attribute so here we have provided the three right so now instead of multi select i want this test case should be a radio button so pt underscore radio click on apply and save click on build so that drop down should be converted into the radio button now so we got the radio button now so instead of radio this time i want checkbox build completed let's click on build with parameter so now you can see this is converted into the checkbox so instead of three you can make five here okay plan save now five tests are visible now at a time so in the console if you see all the values for this choice parameter are printed here okay without code so i will show you the use of the code value here so here we have provided the code value as false let me give true here So if you check the console now all these values are given in the double quote so that is all for this session guys i will see you in the next video soon thank you